Today we are going to talk about select and mask feature of Photoshop and there is another thing which just came up which is this select subject you can see over here okay so we are going to discuss these two things and there are few settings issues which I really recently have seen that they are behaving differently in this new version of Photoshop so we are going to talk about it okay so um, let's start with uh, this simple image this is my image and you can see the in background is blurred and uh, my uh, I am the subject and I am a bit far away from this background okay so how you can uh, select uh, this subject easily you can go to this selection tool over here so if I select this one move tool uh, I cannot select it okay so if I go to this selection tool you can see here we have an option select and mask so click this select and mask and there is a new button over here which you can see when you press this quick selection tool okay so quick selection tool is needed to be activated and you are going to select this button and what uh, adobe is going to do adobe photoshop is going to calculate uh, artificially um, with artificial intelligence that where is the subject okay and it is going to make the selection for you so i'm going to press this and wait for few seconds and uh, you can see here is the magic okay now you can see that the uh, few things on my wall there and the color is the same as my hair so it has selected also this one okay otherwise it played very well on selecting everything so you can see how, right now my edge shift edge is zero so i'm not shifting anything and uh, also the smoothness is five five percent uh, so um, right now these are my settings okay so if you really want you can apply a bit of feather like uh, two percent uh, and uh, also increase the smoothness a bit and also increase the contrast a bit more and uh, also you can shift the edge minus five percent okay so this is without decay de de contamination colors and this is with the contamination colors so it is not making much of a big difference okay so i'm going to reduce the size over here okay so this is my selection now i'm going to move to this tool refine edge selection and i'm going to use it to define my edges so here we have okay so it has problem calculating this uh, background over here so we are going to use this brush tool to remove it and i'm going to press alt and option key to go into the minus mode over here like this okay so this is really harsh so i'm going to make my size of my brush a bit smaller now you can see uh, it doesn't look very well so there are few problems with this technique that if your background have too many colors or uh, the colors which are similar to your hair or your clothes it is going to get mixed up okay so this is one thing you need to consider when you are working with this okay so uh, this is another feature so if i select right now and click over here you can see it made the selection there are few things you need to refine and uh, still i think it did a pretty good job at uh, removing the subject from the background now i'm going to go to my old technique okay now you can see i have a very pretty good selection and how i did it is let me show you this is done by old-fashioned way which i really like and it is by using this polygon lasso tool okay so i made this selection like this and you can see I am using a lot of hair strands in my selection. Press shift for straight line. Okay, now you can see I have made this selection and most I am I am not leaving any hair outside of this selection. Almost any hair. Okay, now we are going to use this refine edge. And what settings I am using is 175 size and hardness is 50%. Okay, I can also reduce it to like 30 percent and uh, let's see the result now you can see when i came close to these here i'm using a bit 
uh, more outside of my edge okay so i am moving something like this okay Now you can see I have used my refine selection tool, refine edge brush and you can see these are my settings 5 smooth, no feather, 20% contrast and I am shifting my edge to outside okay, 5% outside and uh, the, I am using decontaminate color 80% okay. Now you can see this is a pretty good selection there are few uh, here and there areas which I am going to uh, fix with my brush tool you can see over here let me do that. The areas which I see red in my hair, in this hair of this kid, uh, I'm trying to remove them, okay? Areas in red are hidden, so I'm trying to get them back. Now you can see I'm done with the selection. Let's click OK. And these are my settings 80% decontaminate. Press OK. Now you can see this is the great looking hairy selection I made and it is really crisp. Okay. So if you want this, this kind of uh, selection and this kind of result, you need to uh, put some more effort and time in selecting these hairy selections. Okay.